Hey guys, Georgia here. Today I'm with Sly from the his uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life series coming soon. That I forgot what What's the name up? was again. Uh, it is uh, uh, Card Heroes Crimson on Skins 2 Mainstream. I will leave that. To, uh, I will leave a link to that below. But today we're going to do a fucking tier list <laughs> of Elemento Hero Fusion Monsters. I know I'm a little tardy to the party with the whole tier list thing, um, but I thought this would be fun. Just letting you know that we are not including uh, like evil heroes, neo spatian heroes. Uh, this is just heroes that Jaden used in the anime and in the manga for the most part. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm here with resident hero player Sly, and we're gonna go through and rank all of these based on just how much we like them or how uh, good they are. Because let's be real, some of them are a lot better than others. You ready to do this? I'm absolutely ready. Do you wanna do this from top to bottom, like high tier to low tier, or? We're just gonna go in order. And okay. the order I stack them, unless, unless you wanna like, no, this is Pick out one immediately. Uh, okay. I mean, I feel, Actually, feel like we both know. Let's let's go back and forth. Is. You choose one, okay. then I choose one. All right. So I'm gonna. I'll start then, or you start. You start. Okay. I'm gonna go with the strongest hero in all of Duel Monsters, and that is Elemental Hero Inferno. <laughs> and we're. <laughs> I love I love it because that's like the last one. I, I that's the one I totally forgot about too. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to place Inferno? Okay, so he's going uh, on a, the big old F for uh, fire, uh, uh, for fantastic. Uh, for doesn't he get like F word? Doesn't he get like stronger for like fighting a water monster or something? He absolutely does, and that's the that's what makes him the best hero. Everyone expects fire to be put out by water. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> psych. If you're coming uh, from Pokemon, that's not how it works with this guy. <laughs> So he has a base attack of, I think, 2200. And then, yeah, he gains a thousand attack points if he battles a water monster. And that is it. <laughs> That's his effect. I don't think he's awful. Like, F is like worst of the worst, but we'll see. Um, all right, I guess I'll go next. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Don't be shy. Pick your favorite if you want. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go in order. No? Well, okay, yeah. I'm going to go with Flame Wingman. Okay. I'm putting him A tier. Okay, he is very zesty. Just for the legacy? But he's like, he's pretty good too. Like, I'll, I'll still play him every now and then, but I don't think he's SS tier, but I, I quite like Flame Wingman. I'm going to put him in A. What do you think? He's got clout. I agree. I, I very much agree. All right, you're like, up. Okay, so since you're going from the top, I know we didn't plan this, but I'm going from the bottom, and I'm going to go with uh, Terra Firma. Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, th this is going to start looking like it's a big pileup, but he also is an A-tier hero for me. Really? He's A for you? <laughs> okay. okay. Because of his interactions with another specific hero... I uh, think I know which we're talking about. Yeah, like he's just zesty. Like he's just spicy boy. I don't think he's that good though. You you tribute okay, a hero to I, gain attack. Is that it? Yeah, you tribute a hero, you gain that hero's printed attack points. Okay. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna side with you just so it doesn't get too heavy. Uh, let's put him at a high B. A very high, high B? B. Yeah. That's that's still a bit too high for me. Oh, what? You said <laughs> okay. Let's put him in B for um, now. But we'll yeah, see. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll restructure. I, 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 I am going to stand by that B, but we'll see. <laughs> You're going to stand by that b b boy. That b b b b b boy. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to get a little crazy here. I'm going to put Shining S. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, because S for Shining. S and for S Shining. S for Sandy. He's, he's really good, really strong. Uh, some good combo plays with him. I still play him like every now and then, like competitively in my hero deck currently. Plus, you can make him with with Spark Man, which is like infinitely like the best of the OG heroes. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like him plus King of the Swamp is just like it's there. It's done. So I'm gonna. So S tier we're good. Yeah, S tier we're good. Okay, you're up. Okay. Um. So you did Shining. I'm gonna do the Shining. Okay. And I have to put. I have to put him as an A tier. I agree. And you, like, like he he gains power for banishing, so he's like the counter to Shining Flare, because like it's like he gains a 300 oh. for banish, Shining Flare gains a 300 for grave. 
Um, I never thought I think of that. that that's really cool. And then the fact that, yeah, it's, it's lovely. And the fact that he recurs like any two banished heroes uh, when he's sent to the graveyard is really decent. He'd be S tier if but, he didn't miss timing. With I was it, about to does. say that. I was about to say, but he misses timing. And for me, quite yeah. often. Yeah, yeah, same. Like if you mass change into him or from him, like you're missing out. But eh. uh, but outside of that, I think he's fantastic. I think he's awesome. OK, I, I can see. Yeah, OK, I'll, I'll leave him there. Okay. Uh, let's go with, hmm. Let's go with Dark Bright. Mm. What do you think about Dark Bright? Okay, so I have a personal bias to Dark Bright. I uh, do too. I do too. When you mentioned <laughs> that before, I'm like, I really like this guy too. Um, I want to put him in B, but I know he belongs in C. Like he, he just belongs there. I think. But I was, he's fantastic. I was thinking of B. Really? Okay. Anything with Sparkman gets like a plus in my book. He does piercing, See, he switches to defense, and when he gets destroyed, you can destroy a card on your opponent's side of the field, which is more than I can say for Terra Firma. That's true. Okay, fair enough. What I like about him is actually, it's not the Sparkman element, it's the Necro uh, uh, Shade element, which is that when you fuse with Necro Shade with him, like he's like one of the only fusions with Necro Shade, and he's like the only one, in my opinion, that's worth a damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I see where these guys are going. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, like, for me, when I was younger, like, I would be like, okay, cool. Uh, King of the Swamp plus Necro Shade, make him. Now I get to summon Blade Edge for free. That's true. That's fair. Uh, I wouldn't be because I just like him a lot. Yeah. All right, boy, you're up. Okay. Um... <sighs> I'm going to go with Steam Healer. Steam Healer? Yeah. What do you think? And I'm, uh, 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 like, like, uh, man, um, I say E. I was going to say D. D? You're, you're grading on a curve more than I am, and I, I, I like think, uh, that. Um, uh, so, okay. <laughs> give me your, give me your reasoning. I don't know why, but I always, like, used to go into him in Duel Links. <laughs> Like that was like my goal in life. Like I don't care if I, I I have to make Steam Healer and just gain attack and just stall for the win. <laughs> Do you have any funny stories with Steam Healer? Because I've got one. Uh, uh, go for it. Okay, so oh, this was at a locals of mine when I was like younger, and uh, my opponent was playing Black Wings, and so I had dropped a skyscraper, played Polly, fused um, Burst into Tricks and Bubble Man for Steam Healer, and then. Uh, played Miracle Fusion and made absolute zero and then just like railed on my opponent. It was very <laughs> fun. There was a mass change there too, so things got dumb. Um, he is pretty weak though. I think you're right. I think Etero is appropriate. Yeah, like, because he's a level six, so I mean, you can form change, but I'm not looking at it from that perspective. Okay. He doesn't do much, is, is my problem. He doesn't do much outside of you. Like, uh, in, in that sense, I think we can throw Mariner in E2 or F. Yeah. Because um... I actually did use Mariner for as, a, as an instant fusion target, like with, with Link Summoning and all that. It, it didn't last for long, but he, I, I used him. Yeah, yeah. Like, just having him as... I think the fact that he's an instant fusion target makes him an E tier hero. Okay. Uh, just because, again, I feel like he can, like lead into more plays. I just said that I was like, I'm not going to consider mass change, but also <laughs> the fact that you can mass change uh, him immediately. Well, that is a factor. Um, We're not talking about the mass heroes, but that is a factor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I think E is fine. Um, I would say F, if not for that really. So before the video started, we were talking about one oh. very cool moment in the anime in particular. <laughs> <laughs> Where uh, Jaden is dueling someone, and he in his the first guy. turn, yeah, it's, yeah, it's in season four. Um, polymerization fusing Avion and Bubble Man to make uh, Mariner. Deep fusion separates them, tributes both of them to summon out elements like your Neos. My and man like, went minus <laughs> four for Neos. <laughs> <laughs> and it was worth it one. <laughs> and it's crazy because you could summon Bowman and draw too, but that just wasn't worth it. Like, it was just <laughs> so much more worth it to summon Neos. Okay, do you so, want to pick one? Uh, Mudball Man? 
Oh, I was thinking of that one too for my next one. What do you think about Mudball Man? Uh, Mudball Man is S tier because it fought against Zane uh, uh, and died. Okay, wait, hold on. Maybe, maybe not. I was thinking. Well, there was D. D for damn boy. Do you do anything else? <laughs> <laughs> well, he has no effect too. I know. He's just a meat shield, but he's a pretty hefty boy, like three thousand. He's a thick. He's a thick lad. Um, D's fine. D's D fine for defense. D yeah. for defense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's your turn now. I'm. Hmm. Jeez, I don't even know. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about Grand Merge. Either A or S. Cause I really like Grand Merge. I've made some sick combos with him before. And if you're trying to play like pure elemental heroes, like classic like Jaden heroes, like it's pretty much Grand Merge Turbo, some of Grand Merge going to Nebula or Contrast or even Shining, mm -hmm. so the only thing that I think makes him like, because I want to put him in S, but I also want to put like everyone in S. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think the only reason I would put him in A tier is like his fusion requirements are a little bit tricky. Uh, and the fact that his attack power isn't the beefiest um, is a little bit lame too. Like I wish he had like a base like 500 or 1000 or something, but maybe yeah. that's just. But he's so good though. And his effect is so nasty. Like, he does provide, he literally makes every other card in, in Jaden's deck. Um, like, go into him, go into Nebula, Nebula, eh, Nebula Neos, and draw like four or five. Yeah. He's yeah. pretty nasty. Yeah, I like the unpredictability factor into him. You're right. You're right. Okay. I am going to give him. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, I want to put him in S tier. You're going to put, I'm going to put him in S tier. I think that's fine. I think we need to set a limit of like, like four S tier heroes max. Yeah, no, I think I, there's not gonna be there's out of all of this, there's probably not like maybe like two more, maybe. There, there's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, you pick one now. Okay, uh, um, let's just go with uh, Thunder Giant. Okay, what do you think? I feel like Thunder Giant's a solid C. Okay. Oh, are you getting? I can't. Here, tell if you're here's like... the thing, though. He gets outclassed in his own series. I know. That's why. Well, for me, Voltic to be. Oh wait, you mean Plasma Vice? I mean, yeah. Sorry, Plasma Vice. Uh, uh, okay, let's talk about Thunder Giant. Is... Thunder Giant gets like, um, what's the word? Powercraft in his own series. Like discarded card, destroy a monster that's weaker than you. While Plasma Vice just destroys any monster. Yeah. Yeah, and has the piercing, like, that's why I'm like, oh, God, like, there's some cool clout to summoning Thunder Giant, because everyone knows Thunder Giant. Everyone does, though. I'd, I'd put him in D. You're, you're pulling my leg. You can, okay, you can say D. I'm going <laughs> to still say C. I know that this, we're divided on this. Yeah, it's, uh, just, it's just like, it's crazy just how, like, immediately it's like, nah, it's not good enough. We need to make a new hero that does something better. <laughs> we can make him better. Who's stronger too, and and does piercing? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you choose D for now. We'll we'll decide proper whenever things are done. All right. Um, speaking of plasma vice, I'll probably I'm thinking of B or C. What do you think? See, and that's the thing. Like, I think plasma vice is not a C tier hero. I think he honestly is B tier because he does he does uh, what Thunder Giant does. He does what. Um, he does uh, more than uh, what Thunder Giant, uh, yeah. Thunder Giant does. Because he, he can pop anything. It doesn't have to be with equal or less attack points. He does piercing. He's made with Spark Man anyway. Okay, and I'll like, put him the only B. thing you're giving up is a Blade Edge. I'll put him in V. Yeah. Okay, and he can beat choose. up a Dark Magician. Um, he can. He can. Let's see. Um, this one's a controversial pick, I think, uh, which is Electrum. Um, and I think, okay. I think he's an A tier hero. Really? Yes. That's re for what? Okay, so I know there's the gimmick about... OTK thing that you can do with him. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm talking real world properties here. He is like a loop uh, for FTKs. Like you can literally win with him by looping stuff that was banished um, in order to set him up for burn damage with like the trains and all that. Like you can just win. 
uh, on turn one with like bubble shuffle and all that. Some people might not know what I'm talking about. Uh, but for those people, I just want to say he also has like um, a body made of gold and lipstick and a speedo of pure justice. Yes, and he a gains speedo of righteousness. <laughs> and he gains 400 attack points for uh, every non-dark, non-light monster on the field. Is it four or 300? Is it 300? I, I think it's 300. Okay. Well, he's still pretty beefy. Like, I, I think that, I think he's an A tier hero just for his like gimmickiness. Cause like you literally can beat your opponent before they can do anything unless they have a hand trap. I think that it's definitely like a big, big what if, but when it goes off, it's like, oh, I didn't even get to play a card. Uh, I I'm thinking B tier, but. All right, let's, it feels so weird to put him next to like Shining and Flame Wingman. <laughs> um, put him, put him in A for now. We'll see. Okay. You're like, you're like a little hesitant. I can tell. But even Lynn, that looks like that, that just looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks incorrect. Ah, I can't, I can't backpedal now. I've already spent five minutes. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him there. But people are gonna skip to the very end and be like, "Oh, what the hell?" <laughs> you're right. All right, they're gonna be like. Okay, I feel like we need something in C tier. I think Rampart Blaster C tier. Okay, you know what? I can agree with that. Like, not, I'm not even gonna contest that. Not even, not like incredible. But, like attacking in defense mode is pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. So I think I think we need an S, a C tier hero. Speaking and, of I a C tier hero, a C tier hero. My bad. And, uh, and Rampart's probably what I'm thinking. Yeah. For me, another C tier hero definitely is like Phoenix Enforcer. I don't think, well, not even really C. I, yes. I, I see him as like a. You think C? C or D? Like, that's the thing. Like, he doesn't do much, but he does have protection. And like, I've literally. I, I, I think that he is a decent C. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Okay. Oh, we're just blazing through these. I think we've gone through half. I love how there's like, I know. like we have like the perfect amounts of heroes for this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put out of all the Omni heroes, Nova Master is my favorite. Oh my gosh, you too? You too? I really love him. I lo dude, I love free advantage. Yeah, same. And just because he combos all with Dark Law, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking B or A tier, but I think A is too, too much. Yeah, because he's, he's just a draw one. He is just a draw one. But the fact that you can make him with Blaze, man, like, you can always make this guy. Yeah. Like, he's just so good. But uh, I feel like A tier is like, oh, no. Uh, I I'm, I went into him so much. You're I want like, to oh, well, say A. You're like, if Electrum's an A tier. <laughs> Anything's possible at this point. <laughs> but I did. Um, I just, like, through my eyes, I went through, I summoned Nova Master so much. Like, I've, I've had duels where I've gained so much advantage because they can't get over him because of Dark Lawn, and they just keep setting, and I just keep attacking, and I just draw and draw and draw, and it was beautiful back in the day. I really, really like Nova Master. I, I'll settle for <laughs> me, but in, in, in my heart, he's like, he's one of, like, just one of my I'm favorites. I'm fine with him being A for a different reason than the Dark Lawn play, because I love that play. He, if, if you guys don't know, he's one of the only monsters that lets um, you gain an effect, even if the monster that you destroy doesn't go to the graveyard. Yeah, exactly. So like even tokens. I, yeah, exactly. Um, pendulums, I think, right? Yeah, pendulums, too. He's like the only card that lets you like net free advantage for that. So I quite like him. I'm, I'm putting him in A. I, I really, okay. really enjoy him. All right, okay. boy. Yeah, I feel like we're getting down to like the ones we don't like. <laughs> <laughs> um, a personal favorite of mine that is also a garbage hero. Oh god, is, here we go uh, again. <laughs> is um Escuriado or Squirto. Okay. Um I see him as a strong like C tier hero. Uh because he's a Dark Law material. He's also a um absolute zero material with form change. Like he makes all the good mass heroes. He is the gateway to all of the good mass heroes in one way or another. Yeah. And like his attack boost is good, you know, like maybe not. Okay, so let's see. His attack boost uh, is decent. It's 2,500 and 100 for each elemental hero, I believe. Yeah, so he doesn't gain like crazy, crazy power. Um, that does, yeah, the fact that he's not every hero here. 
He's a C or D. Um, I don't put, make I put him D. often. I'd put D I'll just to make room for like Gaia and Great Tornado, which I do think are better. Yeah, yeah. So D? I think D's fine. Okay. All right, let's just get rid of this one out of the way now. Absolute zero. Shout outs to my boy Trench LP. Oof. His favorite hero, I believe, of the Omni heroes. Um, honestly, I, I can't, I can't put this guy on the same level as Neville Master. Like, I, if Neville Master is A, then this guy has to be S. I cannot argue with that in the slightest. Because the thing that annoys me about the thing that makes like heroes like Dark Law and Absolute Zero good is that they're a problem once they're on the field, whereas like every other hero has to attack or like do something to trigger an effect. Yeah. But Absolute Zero, just once on the field, it's like a problem, you know? Yeah. So. And that's not even considering the fact that like, oh, if you're going against like Mermels or like a water-based deck and he just gets Mondo strong. And then there's the uh, uh, Master Hero Acid play. I love it. I call it Absolute Acid back in the day. Oh God, or like Absolute Acid and like Acid Firma. Acid Firma, yeah, that too. <laughs> or like, okay, so, uh, not S tier, but like Absolute Firma, yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. What were we gonna say? No, 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 no. That's I'm just I'm just in agreement with it. Like I love I love him and Terra Firma hanging out together. <laughs> um. Okay, so you're up. Okay. Oh. Gaia. Okay. Um. Okay, so you're probably gonna. Uh, I don't know. I was going to give him a B, but I genuinely think he's a C. But he's a strong C. He's a I strong agree with that. C tier Strong C, yeah, because he can get over anything. Yeah, like if your opponent is at less than 2,200, you basically win a game summoning him if you get a clear shot. Plus, and this is a little cheeky, but you can go into him with a Solid Soldier. Yeah. And Solid Soldier's effect lets you bring back a hero when it's used for a fusion summon, and Solid Soldier is ground, so I kind of like that mm -hmm. quite a bit. The only thing that makes him... Earth, yeah. The only thing that makes him like not a low tier B hero for me and like rather a high tier C hero is the fact that since he's he's a level six fusion monster, so he's really good for like form changing into Dark Law when you have no other That's options. True. That's true. But like if he was a level eight, the shenanigans you would be able to do is just a little bit more gimmicky. I think I like him as a level six. I honestly do. Uh, um, but it does it definitely is what's pushing him down to C. Kind of, kind of, I just. That's weird that he's a level six, actually. I just thought about that. Like, I think all the other ones are eight. Yeah, yeah. That's odd. Okay. Um, Tempest. Low for me. For a triple fusion, his effect does not justify it. Yeah. Pretty low. I'm thinking either F or E. Ooh, F. Like, that's that's really Like, you have Sparkman, like Bowman, and Avion. And then his only effect is a tribute card to make something like immune by battle, I believe. Is it yeah, by battle and yeah. card effect or just, no, it's just battle. It's just battle, I believe. Um, it's just not worth it for that many resources. I guess you could Miracle Fusion him, but if you can Miracle Fusion him, you could go into the Shiny, you can go to Absolute Zero, you can go to Great Tornado, you can go to Core. Yeah. Like, the fact of the matter is, when he debuted earlier in the anime, um, he was a perfectly fine, like, I don't know, like, he'd be, like, he'd be decent. He'd be a he's higher tier for me. He's worse in the anime because he had to keep tributing cards. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm throwing him an F, man. What like, do you think? What and that's think? the thing I was going to say. He literally is in the same line as the hero that I was going to be like, oh, that is his superior in S tier. Yeah. Like, because you can, with just Avion and Sparkman, you can just make the S tier guy and then just turn him into to Tempest anyway. Basically, yeah. So you can be aggro and then be like, okay, I'm gonna defend something now. Yeah, I don't like him. I don't like him. I, I like all of them, but he's he's kind of down there. You know what he's missing that would make him like S plus here? What? A UFO raid. Oh yeah, okay, that, <laughs> that part was so gimmicky in the goddamn anime. That was so dumb. <laughs> like Pegasus just thought, hey, this might happen. This might happen, let's let it be. All right. Let's see what happens. You pick one. My AC just kicked in. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, it's definitely going to be Shining Flare. Okay. Shining Phoenix Enforcer? Or Shining Phoenix, rather. Uh, Shining Phoenix is 
E tier garbage. Really? That low? I hate him. Lower than lower than the fucking <laughs> Phoenix Enforcer? Absolutely. Why do you hate because him so much? <laughs> because for the same material, like I understand Phoenix Enforcer. You're like, oh, I need to stall out. Like 2,100 attack points, not that much. But for the same material as an S tier hero like Shining Flare, literally even King of the Swamp and Sparkman. Oh, You're like, but, but oh. like, forget about like the the, the ranking. It's just like he is an upgrade to this to, to regular Phoenix Enforcer. He is, but like I I, I feel like the upgrade because he gets a power boost, right? So that's awesome. So it's like okay, he's twenty five plus three hundred for every hero. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So you'd be like okay, so he's so strong. I don't expect him to get destroyed by battle. So what is his effect? Like if he's gonna have like four thousand one hundred attack points, why does he need immunity by a battle? That's a good point. That's a really like, good point, was, actually. If he was like, gain the power immunity by card effects, I'd be like, fantastic. He'd be like a good B, like a strong B. That's okay. Uh, but, yeah, that's true. Maybe I'm being a little harsh on him, but I genuinely am like, you're just worse Shining player. So where do you want to put him? So I want to put him on E. That's my e, first okay. preference. I was thinking E too. Yeah. God, so nice and orderly. I know. <laughs> Okay, let's give Wild Heart some love. Uh, what do you think of Necro Shaman? I think it's target a uh, monster, destroy it, and then bring back a monster from your opponent's graveyard. So that's really spicy. Um, I don't necessarily like it per se. I wish it had a little bit more power because it's like 1950 or something like that. I'm thinking um, E tier. E tier is fine because he's really situational. There have been times, I remember a friend of mine when we were younger, summoned Armatile, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, okay, um, I'm going to fuse these two together to send Armatile to the grave and bring back, like, I don't know, like a like a dumb, weak zero attack point monster. He's he's clutch in circumstances, um, and he also does set up Necroshade, and that's, that gives him points in my book. Hmm. Yeah. Like, he, he's fine. Yeah, I'm not saying he's a bad spot at all. Anything, the fact that he can kill um, Shining uh, Phoenix Enforcer. Yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. Like, it, it looks right to me. Because um, I'm kind of thinking D now, but I think D's just too high. Like, it's just such a weird gimmicky hero. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'll leave him there for now. Mm, all right, you're up. Okay, uh, in the same vein uh, of showing uh, Wild Hearts and Love, uh, we're going to go up the step ladder, and I am going to choose Wild Wingman. Okay. Um, Wild Wingman is, in my opinion, a strong... Uh, he's a D-tier hero. D-tier. Um, yeah, like, honestly, uh, I genuinely think he's an E-tier hero, but I want to keep things orderly. No, no, no. We're not trying to keep things orderly. We're just trying to rank them. All right, all right. Um... Because I was thinking F, just to discard a card to destroy as well a trap card. Like, yeah. Eh. Like, he's 1,900 attack points. It's That's not like a bad. worse Righteous <laughs> Justice. I believe you can do it more than once per turn, which does not make it any better. It's just like, oh, cool. Like, I need to discard two good cards to pop Swords of Revealing Light and another card. <laughs> I think yeah, I mean, like, E or F. I'm fine with F actually, because like you give up Wild Heart, who's immune to traps and could just be used for better fusion material. Yeah, that's really true actually. Yeah, okay, it's like, F. Yeah, like you you definitely made me think about it the more I'm talking about it. <laughs> the more you make <laughs> me don't think like about him. it, the more I don't like him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, round out the Wild Heart and talk about Wild Edge. This guy, I think is pretty cool. He's definitely like C or above, but I'm, he's definitely not S or A. I'm actually yeah. fine with C, but what do you think? Because attacking all your opponent's monsters, I don't think he does piercing, does he? No. He, he does not. Okay. I, I personally am of the belief that he is a uh, a B tier hero. Okay. Um, and the, the only reason I say that is because he doesn't require Sparkman. Uh, and all that the makes it worse, though. No, no, no. I know, but I'm saying like you have Sparkman in your hand later. What was that? <laughs> That's like you have Sparkman in your hand for later. So oh, okay, like, okay. 
<laughs> which is which is dumb logic, yes. Um, I think that really what it comes down to for me, for him being a B tier hero, is that he can attack like he he deals with problem cards by himself. Um, his twenty six hundred attack points is not like stupid low. It definitely could be higher. I think twenty six hundred um, is great though. Like that that's pretty strong. That's a good threshold. And I think it deals with like, oh, my opponent just dropped scapegoat, or like, <laughs> my opponent just defused Cyber and Dragon. <laughs> um, I am it's, torn. It's, it's, uh, I think I'm like, I'm actually like literally like in the middle between B and C for this guy. Yeah, it, it, the thing is he's situational. Uh, looking at who we have left, I do have to push him down to C just because the other two I think are more impressive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with C. Okay. All right, you're up. Um. Okay, so Great Tornado. Okay. Uh, I am very biased towards Great Tornado. I love the Stratos him. thing. Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> I've always loved Great Tornado. Like, like the fact that he has your opponent's entire board is really, really solid. Like that. Maybe not game ending, but it pushes you so far above that like you can kind of work with it. Like I know in the meta game, like your opponent might be like, I have back row or like whatever. Uh, but I just like him. I think he can like he helps make weaker heroes better. Like he can make Wildheart break through like a decently strong monster. Um, for me, That's... he is a solid B tier. Okay, I was about to say B tier. I thought you were gonna say A, but yeah, no, I'm, fine no, no. With, I'm fine with B. Um, yeah, I have nothing to say about that. I, I like them. I actually used them before in, like, my hero decks with Stratos now being around. So, as for Core, I think Core is also a B. I, you know, like, because I was worried that we were going to have, like, some contention because, like, he's, like, he's a big bad in the, in the, in where he's from. But, like, I don't think of him as impressive. He needs to attack and censor the graveyard. He can miss timing. Uh, uh, yeah. He, uh, when he and, like, his effect of doubling his attack, that only, like, that never happens. Like, your opponent is just not going to attack into this guy. Yeah. Like, he he's so close to being half decent, and that's the problem. Like, I genuinely don't really find him that interesting, because, like, three hero monsters. Like, you have all the Omni heroes you can go into. Not to mention, let's say that you have a possible combination with them. Like, you have, like, all the stuff to make. Um... Shining Flare with that, or like yeah. that's maybe a bad example, but like you have like everyone like that you need to make like Plasma Vice, something like that. I think that he just is too much work for not enough effort. The fact that like it's at the end of uh, of the battle phase, if he just oh, that if it was automatic, about that. yeah, yeah, like he doesn't even pop it right away, so you can't swing with anything else. He's honestly like he's B or C, and I know that that's a little bit mean to put well, like what's supposed to be the final hero or whatever well 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 his effect of bringing back any hero from the graveyard is is pretty spicy it's not bad i like it but then again if you don't have a hero in the graveyard yeah like i just i think that he's okay as like a if i had any option to go for um like two if i had the option to go for wild edge or for uh, Gaia, I would almost inherently go for Gaia over like Core, and that's a bad sign in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, but you are right to say like the recursion of like other heroes is not bad. So this is kind of where we have contention uh, because I think of him as like a high C hero, if anything, and you think of him as like a B hero. Yeah. Well, I think low B, but um. I can see low B. As long as we're like in agreement that he's like he's not greater than like some other heroes. You know, I'll vote him in C for now. I genuinely, I, mm, I can see him being pushed up to B. Like look, looking at him next to them, I'm like, eh. I mean, looking at like Great Tornado, I'd rather go into Great Tornado then. Oh, hmm. well, he's a nine star too. Actually, that's the problem. He's a nine star. He can't even be mass changed or. That's form that. Changed. Well, actually. Or he can be mass changed, but not form be, changed. Yeah. But you're not gonna mass change him into into DM. No. I mean, you could. Um, wah, wah. I have fond memories playing like against a computer, and they would attack into him, and then like it gets like, <laughs> 5400 or something, 5800. No, wait, he's, <laughs> he's 2700, right? 
Yeah, so he's 27, so he becomes 50. Yeah, 54, right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was 29 for the longest time. Uh, I'm actually really. Put him in B. Put him in B. Put him in B because if Nova Master can be A because we have fun. We can put Core in B because you have fun memories of him. Okay. And also, he, like he, I'm I'm gonna put him in B not for anything as far as gameplay stuff, but because what he represents in like the lore. I was about to ask about that. Like, is he like a super important character in the manga? In the manga, um, he is a he symbolizes someone that's really important to Jaden, and so for that alone, I'm like, okay, this is cool. Okay, yeah. Okay, B's fine then. So like, I know that he's like one of the only ones that's like, okay, but like, how is he in the plot? Um, but like, that does matter to me. That's why I like did want to get him as an ultra rare. Um, so yeah, Kor is a B tier hero um, because we have fun memories of him. Well, and he is bad, but like he's not god awful. Like I, I, I'll, I'll still, I still use him. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Any okay. You know what? I'm gonna make one last argument for Kor being a B tier hero. Okay. Uh, and that's uh that uh after you attack with him, you play B fusion and then uh, you could, swim, swim, but you could, you could, you could say that about any hero. Yeah, but then you get three here, <laughs> <laughs> which can only be superseded by Electrum's four hero. I use three Neo systems to make them, so you're screwed. <laughs> okay. All so right, there we go. No, no, we're not done yet. Oh. Here's the time to make some changes. Okay. I really, really want to put Terraformer down one. How dare you? And Electrum you down one. Um. We can put Electrum down one. Any like gimmicky OTK, I don't think should be like A tier or above. All right. You know what? Fine. We can put Electrum down, but I will I will stand by the fact that Terraforma is a B tier hero. Okay. Only for for this one reason alone. On top of everything else that I've talked about, it is that he requires the exact same fusion material as Absolute Zero, meaning. Uh, because he uses a water hero in Ocean, and he uses another hero in um, Woodsman. So you can go Polymerization for Terra Firma or Absolute Zero, whichever you want to do first. Miracle Fusion for the other. And then from there, you have the Zero Firma combo already set up. So you go for those four cards. You can nuke your opponent's board and then hit them for 50 or 5,000, rather. Okay. Um, and like maybe that's not like the best reason, but like it definitely has gotten me out of a, a few situations in the past when it was relevant, and it's uh it's part of the Planet series. Well, and I mean, that's cool as hell. Yeah, that, that's true. It has its own trap card. Looking at the uh, no, I think looking at the BT heroes, I think it fits well, because like it, it's it's weird how all like the big like legendary ones are in the B tier, like Electrum, Korra, mm -hmm. and Terraform are all there. Mm -hmm. Like the big boys are all there. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> and then S and A are like the ones I use in like a ton of decks. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. I'm okay with this. Do you have any other changes? Um, I think I think the fire one in Inferno was his name. Yeah, I think you would be up one. I gotta contest that. Really? I, I mean, like you really yeah, don't like him? Okay, I do not like the fact that he gained. Um, attack points when fighting a water monster. I'm like, okay, absolute zero gains attack points when there are water monsters. But that's, it's not like a waste or anything. Like, I feel like Tempest and Wild Wingman are waste. Mm -hmm. Like, you're like destroying resources. You're going so much minus. Mm -hmm. Terraformer, not really. Like, it's not great, but it's, it's not hardcore minus. Mm -hmm. I also just feel like, because the thing that makes him really bad is that he is a fusion of heat and lady heat. Like, yeah. So, so because he's a fusion of two monsters that aren't even like played anymore, it's not like with like Nova Master and Blaze Man. Like, that, that makes perfect sense. That, that, that like is meant for each other. I personally, I know I'm like, I'm, I'm being mean to him. I just, <laughs> yeah, I just, you're <laughs> really brutal, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it's just, he doesn't have any attack points either. He's like 23, 22. I think he's like, like 26, actually. 
Hold on, I gotta look this up. Look, look it up, because I, I might be wrong. Yeah. I, I think he's 26, because he, he was in Duel Links, and I did use him, like, once or twice. Inferno is... Uh, 2,300. Oh, okay. Yeah, and th again, that's the problem, because Inferno is 2,300. Well, um, Elemental Hero Heat is 1,800 attack points by himself, because he gains 200 for every hero on the field. Uh, and if you have a full field, then I believe he's what? That's 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, he's like stronger than Inferno just by himself. That's if you have a full field, which heroes don't do super much. Yeah. Um, if you want to bump him up, I'm not going to stop you. It's your video. But... I want your input, but I'm, I'm just <laughs> saying that whereas Wild Wingman and Tempest, like, they eat up so much resources. At least you can like miracle fuse it in, into into Inferno and not lose that much. I feel like, like if you can miracle fuse into Inferno, you can miracle fuse into. Yeah. Like, and and like, unless you're like really losing. Um. No. And you're just like this. Ought to shake things up. And you're just going to Inferno <laughs> instead. You're like, I gotta win for my father, for my grandfather, for but all just like, the like, people who believed in Inferno before me. Like, that's just my argument. Like, F tier are like cards that, that will like make you lose. And Inferno won't make you lose. He's not the best. He's not C or D or above. But it's not like you're going like minus four for Tempest. And then tributing mm -hmm. another card to protect him. The only reason I'll, I'll let you pull him up any higher is that in the manga, Inferno is Jaden's Omni Hero for Fire. He actually does not use Nova Master, and Which like I'm sad about. He should get clout for having uh, been so important to Jaden, even though he is literally like garbage. <laughs> I, I love how much you don't like him, <laughs> even though he is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I, he's not good. He does not F tier for me. He's E tier, which isn't saying much. <laughs> like he's, I agree. He, like he's not good. Like don't play him. But he's not like detrimental. Like not that bad. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. I, I like him on the same level as like Steam Killer. Okay. I you know okay. Um, Mariner. Uh, uh, Mariner can swing for fourteen directly and then DP to be Neos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Neos material. Mariner is crucial to all elements of hero Neos plays. Actually, Mariner can attack directly. I forgot about he that too. I think and I think he's fine. I think he's fine in E. Um uh, yeah, like like that that does not mean that he's good. It just means that like he can he can do that. Alright, is um, there uh do you have any suggestions? Because I've been changing a lot. <clears throat> I, I mentioned um, halfway with the terra firmer thing. Uh, I'll 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 meet you halfway there. Okay. Uh so let me look at this list real quick. I, I genuinely kind of like where it is right now, but... Yeah, I was going to say, genuinely think the things are good. Oh, man. This is a lot of but, fun. Like, I just like going through all good. of them. And, like, seeing all the heroes <laughs> together and now seeing them, like, ranked. Like, it just looks so cool. This is really nice. All right. <laughs> We're back. What's uh, up? <laughs> while <laughs> I was editing the video, I kept... I just realized that we kept bringing up the mask heroes, and Jaden did use them. And uh, there's only ten of them. So, yeah. Uh, let's just throw them in. <laughs> Do you want to go first, or do you want to go uh, last? Well, I'll go first. Uh, okay. And then if you don't like my... Oh, I, okay. So I'll go first, and if you don't like my uh, idea of going first, then you can go first. So I think that all of the mass heroes are F tier. What? Uh, because, yeah, well, because in the manga, they actually have no effect, and they are considered weaker than uh, other fusions, since they oh. only have one material. Okay, wait, no. Hold, okay, you know... We're going by so, the card game. So F tier for all of the mass heroes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that would be that'll be it. Uh, except Goka. Uh, except Goka. Goka is top tier. <laughs> okay, I'll go first can, then. Okay, fine. Whatever. Speaking of Goka, it's cool that he gets a hundred for every hero. I don't think that makes him any better than a Skirado. And I'm a little salty because he's the only Fire Mask hero. Like, I think we can get a really, really cool <laughs> Fire Mask hero for Blazeman. Um, but I'm thinking D tier. D tier is fine uh, because you can actually make Goka. <laughs> this is really dumb. This is dumb trivia. 
Elemental Hero Inferno can actually be used yeah. with form change or mask change to make Masked Hero Goka. Meaning and that's <laughs> just the worst thing. <laughs> Meaning that um, you were right, and um, that instantly pushes Inferno up to Ether. Yes. So All right. with that in mind, yeah. I agree. D tier is fine. All right, you're up. Okay, um, let's stick with the level sixes because why not? Uh, oh and let's go with uh, um, little water boy uh, Koga, right? Is that? I'm sure that's his name. Uh, Vapor. Vapor. Wow, I am off. You're a little uh, rusty boy. I am. It's been a few years. But no one plays Vapor. Uh, no one plays Vapor except uh, Vapor's kind of cool. He's just immune to card effects. Okay, but. Going ab zero, and then your opponent being like Regeki, and then you being like, ha, psych, mask change uh, into him and okay. swing for game. Okay. Or like Mirror Force. Like, if you crash into a Mirror Force, you're like, let me nuke your board real quick. I, I don't see him higher than B, honestly. Okay. I think C is uh, fine. I mean, honestly, realistically, I think he is a C tier as well. I was going to say D. But like he's not bad in as far as stats. He is good enough to finish the game, and he is the only like viable form change target for Dark Law to go into right now. Uh, it's weird. I think C's too high, but the immunity is nice. It's it. I think it's just because like the only other one to compare it to is either all of the level eight mass heroes, which are amazing, or Goka. And Goka's bad. Um, I'm going to stay with a firm C and okay. we can play around from there. Okay. I think. <laughs> Fine. But only because Blast is nicer. Here. Like, I, I wouldn't. I actually forgot about Blast and I think Blast takes a C spot so I can see him being pushed down to D. Okay. I'll put Vapor to D. Yeah. Blast, he house an attack and then he bounces a card back, right? That's not, that's not amazing. No, but it can be really utility uh, during the end phase, like quick play. Let me bounce back that trap you just set. I think people or... are actually playing it right now. I, I saw some hero decks, some competitive ones that are playing Blast. I'm not sure why. He He's just like a good uh, mass change. He's like he's just a mass change target for Strato so that if he uh, gets ashed or um, carried or something, you can still resolve Stratos, I believe. Or something like that. Impermanence, targeting him or whatever it may be. Probably. Um, Something like that. It's funny because uh, I thought I Blast was broken when I first saw him. Because I thought he, I thought he could bounce any card. I remember me and you talked about him actually when we first saw him like years ago. Yeah, that was a while like, back. This guy, this guy OP. Uh, this guy not OP. Maybe someone will argue with me, but I, I, I did see him in a few hero decks, but I don't think he's amazing. Like I, I, I honestly, I think he's like D tier. You think he's D tier? Yeah. Um. We'll, we'll keep moving him. I think C's fine just because I think he does have some utility. Um, he deals, like, I mean, if your opponent's he got a 4,000... He does more than Goku and Vapor. If, if your opponent's got, like, a 4,000 attack point monster, like, he can still be like, okay, cool, I'm having it, and, like, punching you now. Yeah. Okay, no. I, okay, C's fine. Um, let's just get this out of the way. Yeah, done. Done and done. done. No argue. <laughs> I... Will be amazed if anyone says anything about Dark Law <laughs> being, <laughs> not being in a steer. So good. Um, I feel like everything here is like B or above, and that's yeah, really like the rest, like they're all really, really good. I'll okay to make things fun. What do you think is like the next best one? Acid, acid, yeah. <laughs> I'm putting S and S. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's so good. Like the, the those three all next to each other belong together. Ab Zero, Dark Law, and Acid are like a trio. I I don't think I don't think any other are S tier though. Um, I firmly agree with that. I think okay. everyone else is really good. I don't think none of them are S. Um, I'll put Anki in A tier. Anki is a yeah, I can see him in A because he just he's a combo extender. He can he can attack directly and 
Uh, you don't need Avion and Bubble Man <laughs> <laughs> to do it. Well, he can also attack and then lead himself into Dark Claw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, like, I like him. Like, he's he's great because he's a Dark Claw or he's a Divine Win or a Koga. Why do I keep saying Koga? Who's Koga? Koga is Koga. The, the, the shiny one. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, Koga or... or um, He's just all of them. He he can become any masked hero. Except the bad ones. He, he can't go in the blast. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, he is basically the equivalent of, like, the the, the S-tier hero guy up there. I, I forget his name. Uh, the one right next to Ab-Zero and Shining Flare. Oh, Grand Man. Grand Man. Or Grand yeah, Merge. Yes. Okay. So these... I, uh... You go. Okay. Um, this is definitely a little bit biased. Uh, I'm going to go with, I feel like the only odd man here is Contrast. Yeah. Um, and Contrast to me is a very, very strong, very strong C tier hero. C tier? Yeah. Okay. So I was going to say B, but here's the thing. Uh, when I used him, it was during, because he has a really great effect. It is negate one card effect, uh, quick effect. So like he's, he's awesome. He's just a great, great negate on the field. The thing that hurts him a little bit is that his second effect is so lackluster. Not that he's a hero, like an elemental hero, but that he's a light and a dark. So, like, if you have something that negates lights or darks, he's negated. Also, um, the best card I've used him with is Vanity's Emptiness. Yeah. Because, like, during my I turn, like I negate that, Vanities. I feel like that by itself makes it at least a B, though. A here's B. The thing, you can go into him with Grand Merge. Okay. Like, use Grand He is Miracle attack. Fusionable. Yeah, I feel, I feel like B or A. How strong is he, 26 or 3,000? He's 3,000. Okay. All right, well, we'll put him, oh God, he's so. Uh, <laughs> and he's the only hero that can negate. Yeah. I think B or A. Let's, let's drop him into. You know, I'll, I'll set up for B because A is like for heroes you can go into like all the time and, and yeah. they're great. Yeah, but he's so cool. I, I just wish that like he needs more. I wish he was easier to go into. I wish I know that it's like, oh, it's two masters. That's easy. But like you kind of have to go out of your way to, to summon him. Except for Grand Merge. Yeah, Even yeah, Grand yeah. Merge is a bit out of your way. Like you won't be able to bust them out in like every hero deck. Yeah, I just feel, feel like he is really good, but he's definitely... Because I love him. I love him. I used to use him all the time. I just wish that he had a second effect that was more than this but is two attributes. You have to judge him for what he is, not for what he isn't. I guess you're right. I like him. I okay. also like that he's a Common Rider W reference, so uh, B tier is fine. B, B is fine. I feel like we're going to run out of space for the Bs. Um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, eh, maybe we should just drop him. Uh... Look, I'll be real with you. Uh, in my opinion, um, who are you going to pick next? I I have a weird thing for this one. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Divine Wind. Thank you for... Uh, no, well, his name's Kamikaze. Kamikaze, sir. yeah. Um, I want to put him in A. But I am going to put him in A. You want to put him in A? Yeah, absolutely. Because, like, here's the thing. Like, I, I will obviously listen to He's your counterpoint. He's a little gimmicky. <laughs> He's such a good card, though. Like, if you put him in defense mode, like, he can't be stopped. <laughs> like, <laughs> your, 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 your opponents can only attack with one monster, and then he can't be destroyed at battle. Like, that's so dumb. I love the fact that he's... So I've actually done something similar where it's like, I'm like, I'm just going to crash into your 2700 attack point monster. Your monster's going to die. I'm going to get to draw a card. Yeah, and I have a, I have a weird thing for drawing cards. Like, personally, me, like, I just love me cards and you, that let me draw. Me and you both have the same... Because, like, when you said what you said about Nova Master, I was like, yo, Divine Wind better be, like, in the same bracket. Because one of my favorite things to do, like I said, was swing with Nova Master, draw a card, activate form change, turn him into Divine Wind, swing with Divine Wind, draw a card. Yeah. Like, it's just too good. Plus, drawing is a lot more healthy for the game than, like, searching. Like, I'd rather draw than search. Absolutely. At least when I'm having fun. Um, all right, which one are you going to choose out of these two? 
Okay. I kind of have I kind of have an, an idea on mine or not on where I want to place these. Uh, I do too. I think that we may. I think we're either gonna go exactly the same, or we're gonna have the exact opposite opinion. Okay. Which is to say, oh, but I don't know. Okay. So here's the thing. I really, really love. Uh, I'll let you choose which one you want to do last. Okay. So you. So oh, tell me which one you you want last, and I'll tell you what I think the other one should be. I. What about D and B? In in B or A? A. My bad. A. Okay. So Dion and A, which is what I was going to say, like, he is a strong A. Like, he literally is just, like, a win more card. I yeah. would play Wild Heart to psych my opponent out. I'd be like, swing with Wild Heart. They'd be like, uh, okay. And then I'd be like, cool, um, mass change. Too. And, and there was a guy who, who won, or mass like, change. A, like, a championship or something uh, with heroes doing that. Like, he played Wild Heart just to go into DM. And plus, he was, and plus, yeah. powers to be from traps, so like it would stop like hat or something or some some trap heavy. Exactly. It was like just a free. It was just free. It was just it was like a really cool play. I loved it. Uh, I'm so glad that Solid Man makes him even better because Solid Man is just like oh cool. I got sent to the grave by card effects, so like free stuff. Yeah, he's great. I, uh, I like him. It's weird. I don't like him as much as like the other heroes on on the A tier, but like just on in terms of like just how good he is, he's he's definitely yeah. better. Uh, uh, and, and then finally um, is Koga. Koga. And I think that you might disagree with me, uh, but he is, in my opinion, an S tier hero. What? Really? Yeah. Because, uh, well, you, okay, so people might not know this, but I have a huge, huge, huge fanboy addiction to running Elemental Hero Voltic. That's true. Okay. Uh, and so for those who don't know, Voltic's a thousand attack, 15 defense, four star, and his effect, he's a light, and his effect is uh, when he inflicts any damage to your opponent, you can special summon a banished hero. Um, and I love that because I, I will be like, okay, um, I'm going to swing with Koga. I'm going to drop an Honesty Neos, and then I'm going to banish that Honesty Neos. So the difference in damage between Koga gaining 25 and your monster losing 25 is 5,000 on top of Koga's base power. And then I'm going to swing with Voltic. And then I'm going to get Honesty Neos back and swing with Honesty Neos. Have you done that before? I have. It's really it's really cheeky. Um, I don't... It's, it's, it's like once in a blue moon. It's definitely not something that happens often, but like I do like it a lot. I don't think Koga's S tier. Because S tier is like cards you see like all the time. I think it's definitely something that like... It's one, it can win games by himself. Like, he's a card that gets better. No, in the, no, Dark Law can win games by himself. Dark Law can win games by himself in, like, uh, controlling the game. Yeah. I feel like Koga can win games by himself in, like, um, just, like, pure battling power alone. Because, like, for me, when your back's against the wall, when your opponent's got, like, five big boss monsters on board and you're able to drop Koga, he's at like 55 uh, by himself. And then he's just able to run over almost anything. And if he can't, um, you're able to just banish a hero that like you used earlier on in the game in order to make the situation better for you. I, the only thing... Go on. What's up? I'll, well, I'll the only say thing... that I'll, I'll meet you halfway and I'll put him in A tier. In A tier? I can, I can justify A tier. Because he's a card that gets better. It's almost like a win, a plot device card. Is like it kind of is, play. yeah. Like, he's the really cool, ah, my back's against the wall. Good thing I have this. Uh, and I like his, like, his gimmick is almost like he gains more power the later in the duel. Because then you've pow plowed through, like, all your other good fusions. And therefore, he's like, oh, okay, now it's time for me to shine. That's true, yeah. That's really late game, and heroes are a bit quicker than that. Yeah. I just think that he has a lot of potential, because he is really, until we had um, Contrast Hero Chaos, he was the closest thing to a beat stick that we got that wasn't, like, shining um, before Honesty Neos. Like, I know we had um, the other mass heroes, but none of them got past 3,000. Yeah. Um, and so before Honesty Neos, it was definitely like, that was the big hurdle that heroes had to get over. It's like, how do I beat over a Blue Eyes? How do I beat over like um, a BLS? Yeah, okay. 
that's respectable. So that's where my logic comes from. But I can see him as an A just because there's not a lot of good uh, light hero monsters to main deck that you are going to normal summon. I think A is fine because A is like best, but then S is like a whole other level, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a healthy looking board. This is, yeah, I was surprised how even everything like turned out to be. <laughs> Like, I don't have any discrepancies with the inclusion of the Masked Heroes either. Like, all the other heroes' placements are still fine with me. Yeah. Uh, isn't it cool how, like, there's there seems to be much more, like, good heroes than, like, kind of bad ones? Yeah, I think we definitely had to wait for that, though. Like, because look at all the, like, anime-exclusive heroes that are in the bottom tier versus, like, all the manga. Yeah. Like, literally, A tier yeah. is, like... <laughs> but still, there's, like... Plasma Vice and B and like Terra Firma and B and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I think my favorite thing is that like, uh, um, like Konami sometimes does silly things and I definitely am on the fence about some of the things they do, but they do know how to be like, hey, hey fanboys, here's like some love for your favorite archetype. Yeah. Like, I know that like, as heroes, we get spoiled more than like Harpy players because like our stuff is like more competitive than like a lot of other decks. But like, I do like that, like, they kind of are like, hey, how can we make, it seems like more recently, they're not like, how can we power creep the old stuff? It's like, how can we make cards that function with the old stuff in mind? Or that's what that are reminiscent did. to me. Like, yeah, like, and I love that. I also love that Grand Merge is just like, the what if fusion of like, Sparkman and Avion. Like, that's all he looks like to me. He's kind of a mix between all of them. Like, there's some red and like, I don't know what he is, but he's just like a mix between like a bunch of them. I wish we like mm -hmm. filled everything out. And we got like a, a Sparkman Bubble Man or like a Avion Clay Man or something. You know, we just round that out just to get it done, just for funsies. It doesn't have to be competitive, <laughs> but I just I just kind of want to see it. Yeah. Oh no, there's definitely gonna be like uh, a wall scroll ordered, uh, and it's just gonna be like everything once it's finally like in its proper place. Uh, but yeah, guys. Okay. <laughs> So this, this is good. Came back and just fixed this up, and I'm really happy with how it looks. Like I kind of like how everything settled. I'm fine with all of this. Uh, do you have any uh, changes or requests? Uh, no, not like none at all. Like this is perfect. I like this a lot. Uh, but yeah, guys, for the second time, I'm certain we're done now. Um, but yeah, I'm Georgie. This is Sly. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Ta-ta.